Imagine waking up in the morning and just randomly deciding to go to Japan. That's what I've done. I'm here at Heathrow. Japan Airlines, 14 hour flight, off I go. What a crazy time, man, to wake up and just say spontaneously, you know, spontaneity. Is that the right word? You know, I'm gonna go to Japan. Come on, let's do it. Let's book it, let's go. And I just did it, didn't think about it. But I did, that's how I had the idea to go, but I didn't overthink. And I'm here, 14 hours on a plane, to a place I've never been before. Just walking around Tokyo, just, I'm feeling tired, I'm a bit jet lagged as you could imagine, but I'm ready, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for a bit of a adventure. I don't know if it'll be Indiana Jones vibes, but it'll be exciting. I'm looking forward to it and I can't wait to see some of the amazing places that Japan has to offer. I'm gonna attempt to do all these things over the next few days and try and enjoy myself. I'm here, I did it, I took the leap. Maybe I'll see a bear or two as well in the, in the woods. But yeah, Japan, Tokyo, I'm here. I'm at Tokyo Station, about to get a bullet train. Two hours plus walk to the Tenzan Onsen. Yeah, this onsen's in Hakone, a little town, nice little town. I'd definitely recommend coming and visiting this area. Very mountainous, a lot of hot springs around here. That's what it's famous for, you know. If you're here, then I'd definitely recommend visiting. Not far from Mount Fuji either. It's around that region, you know? So yeah, pop on over. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oduwara Station. Oh yeah, onto the onsen. Onto the onsen. As I'm walking around here, I'm thinking, I can't believe I'm here. Like genuinely. Then I'm thinking, well, I can really because, you know, I was on a plane for 14 hours and I paid to come here, so. I can believe it, but then again, I can't believe I'm actually here just walking around this rural town in Japan on my own searching for an onsen, which I, thanks to Google Maps, I know where I'm going, but... And another thing as well, obviously people that have been here know that when it's red, the, when the crossing is red, you don't cross. Even, literally, if there's no cars, which was, for me, coming from London, was crazy because, you know, even now, if there was something across there, you'd just run, or you'd run across the road, or, you know, it's not like that at all. You literally wait. Everyone waits. It's very rare you get someone that doesn't ab abide by that. And another thing as well, and I, in Tokyo, but I've been here for a few days, I could be wrong, obviously there's police in Tokyo, but coming from London and being in places like New York and other big cities, you don't see police. I mean, there is police, I've seen some police, but there's not, there's not police presence like there would be in New York or London, where literally every second you can hear sirens and police sirens specifically. But yeah, here doesn't, you don't see them. I mean, someone might say I'm wrong and point out something that I'm not seeing, but like, literally, you're not seeing it, man, which is fine. But yeah, anyway. I'm gonna keep walking. This is amazing. I love hiking where I live. It's very beautiful, very scenic as well, but <laughs> nothing can... Um, yeah, this is different level. I just realized my sugars were like, the arrow's going down now, so a hypo will be coming. And um, yeah, again, I've got to eat. And sometimes I eat the wrong stuff or I overindulge, I don't know. 
then it goes back up. So it's like a yo-yo constantly. Not constantly, but it happens a lot where it's just driving me mad. On top of just generally trying to um, trying to do stuff. But yeah, this is um, a beautiful little spot. If you can see that behind me, yeah. Anyway, a little rant about diabetes, man. It just it, sometimes it's just, it's just on my back. And when I do things like this, when I'm in another country, you know, jet lag and thrown into another time zone, and it just makes you realize, like, yeah, I want to do so much, but sometimes, yeah, there's restraints or at least things that will slow you down. Not stop me, but slow me down. This is uphill. It doesn't even look that bad, but the elevation on this walk around this area, I'm feeling it. I can't wait to get to this onsen so I can actually deserve to relax and take a break. Woo. I go for mad walks at home, right? Like long 10 mile walks, even further. And it obviously hit, it takes its toll, but then I'll come home and do a 90 minute spin class. But being out here, I don't know, I think it might be mental, but wow, I'm feeling it. This is just an example, right, of being diabetic and doing stuff like this, because I'm walking and I feel okay, but then, like I just said, I don't feel great, but look. Look at this. My sugar's low. It's free right now. Obviously there's a delay sometimes with the time of that, but the alarm didn't even go off. So I don't know what's going on, but this is just one example and I'm still bloody walking. I need to stop of having diabetes and it's just on your back 24 seven. Obviously people will say there's certain things I could do, preventative measures and whatnot. But this is just an example. I'm trying to be active. I'm out in Japan. I'm doing the damn thing, as they say, but bloody hell. I'm feeling a bit like, I was walking and feeling like, I literally just said, this is taking it out of me. But then obviously, I'm having a hypo. I'm gonna stop now, quickly. Like I said as well, there's this thing out here. And bloody, it's like a lifesaver for me. It's like a gel. It really does the work. Anyway, I'm gonna stop, have some of this. Hopefully it boosts up my glucose at least. Then I've got to have some carbs and keep going. Pure incline right now. I'm nearly there though. Oh my God. This is straight uphill. It doesn't even look that bad. When you, but then again, you've got to remember I'm on a mountain. So. I'm literally climbing mountains. But yeah, what a place. Japan has definitely won me over. Not that it needed to or I had any doubt that it wouldn't. But yeah, what a place. And I've barely seen any of it. I can't imagine what's to come. Well, I sort of can, but you know, I'll another family mart. They're everywhere. 7-Elevens, family marts. What's the other one? Forget the other one. Forget the other one's name. Every corner, but even out here in the mountains, you still get a family mart. I literally got the train from Tokyo Station, and um, I could have got a bus to where this is, but I walked. Don't regret it. Nearly there. Whoa, this part is, you twist your ankles, you're not, what's the word? Careful. This is it, boy. This is it. Oh, this is. <laughs> you twist your ankle on these stones on the floor. I think I'm 10 minutes away. Um, yeah, what a crazy, Walk has been beautiful and um, everything you would imagine. Just thinking, 
There's no bears around here, right? Oh, nearly slipped. But yeah, my hypo got sorted out. And um, now I'm, when I get to this onsen, I can relax, chill out for an hour, and then head back to Tokyo. I've got it. What a wicked water that was. Um, what a beautiful, what a beautiful view. On some time. That onsen was absolutely amazing. It was so tranquil, picturesque. You can't video in there, you can't film or bring your phones. As soon as you get in, you've got to put your phones and stuff in the, into a locker. So there's no filming, it's prohibited because people are running around naked. And, not running, but you know, strolling around naked. But what a place, it, it was so amazing, right? And it took me two hours or so to walk here. And I'm not sure if that's had an effect on me, but I've gone into the like hot spring, I've gone into the steam, then I went into the cold part, where you get into the cold water, and all of a sudden I came out of the cold bit, and I just started shaking like I had a fever, like uncontrollably, to the point where I had to go into a toilet and hide. And I started shivering uncontrollably, and like, I was almost thinking in my head, like if I drop dead here, like, I started thinking about like, you know, travel insurance, or if I got the right, how are they going to get my body back to England if I die? That's how deep I went into my head. I, like, I'm laughing now, but it absolutely wiped me out. And I've come out of there just... I feel nauseous, I feel... I don't know, I don't know what that was. And please, if there's anyone out there who's been to an onsen in Japan and had a similar experience, there probably is no one. But there's a memory in my mind. I'm going to have a vague memory of a podcast. Maybe it was the Abroad in Japan one, but... I'm not sure there was a podcast I was listening to and someone had that experience. They said they went to an onsen and, and they almost passed out. So I'm not sure, but please, if there is anyone out there, my fellow travelers, onsen connoisseurs, just let me know if this happened because I've absolutely been wiped out. Yeah, I'm in Kyoto. I'm walking from the station. I'm heading to the old side of town. Right in the middle of Kyoto. But wow, look at this. Massive. I see a massive gate ahead of me. A massive gaping gate. I can't wait. Bloody Libre, Abbott's Libre 2 that I use. For some reason, the, the alarms ain't going off. I'm walking and I feel a bit. I'm not feeling great. And um, my sugar's low. As you can see, very low. 2.9. No alarm. My alarm's set at 4.5. So if my sugar is if my sugars are dropping or around that area, it gives me gives me a heads up. It's annoying that this sensor the last couple of days the alarms ain't working. I've checked my my reader. 
and it's set up how it usually is. I'm messing around out here a bit. I'm eating the wrong stuff. I'm overcompensating with the insulin because it's spiking and I'm jabbing myself. It ends up giving me hypers. I do it a lot, man. I'm not all the time, but not good. Not good. Yeah, these have been a, a lifesaver for me out here at times. Energy gels, jelly drinks, whatever they are. That's why people ain't thinking that like, I'm a, a typical tourist, you know, just, just stopping eating on the street because I'm like, oh, I'm a bit peckish. No, I'm, I'm bloody... This is a medical emergency, mate. Either I'm overthinking it, though. I'm thinking, am I really coming across rude by eating? But I don't know. But anyway. I love the school sign. I love that, beware of the kids, whatever you call it. School zone. <laughs> oh, it's been a long walk. I'm feeling it today. Because earlier I said, remember, my sugar went low, I had a, I had a hypo. I overindulged with the, with the jelly drinks. I had two of them. When I should have had one, really, because my sugar just shooted up, shot right up. But uh, let's take a few units of insulin. This is what I'm saying, I'm doing this, which is fine. And you can, you can do stuff with diabetes, type one diabetes, but there's just all these little things you've got to be on top of. Just walking through this like residential place um, to see a graveyard just like that, yeah. Another thing, you're walking in these cities in Japan, you're not even doing hikes in mountains and stuff, and then you look at your elevation gain on your app. It's like a couple thousand feet and whatnot. It's like, wow, the whole place is mountainy, you don't even realize. I don't know what this is, but some sort of shrine place. Mad. Whew. It's like no one around. It's like some old ruin. I mean, there's no one really here. Oy. Proper back streets. Oi. Yeah, Kyoto is definitely a place I'd recommend. And um, if you're coming to Japan, staying in Tokyo, get on the train and um, definitely come down here. It's very interesting. Very nice. <laughs> There's always a vending machine, no matter where you are. <laughs> Far away from home, all along.
It's saying a joke where I am. Look, there's even a sign that says, ring the bell hard against bears. So basically, do that to make sure I don't get killed. Let's hope it works. Have I bit off more than I can chew? Oh fuck it. <laughs> 